Welcome to another video. So, everywhere I go, I just see cursor. I don't know what's happening, but at least on Twitter and YouTube, it seems like everyone is using cursor. Every second tweet on Twitter is about cursor, and every second video on YouTube is about cursor. I'm just fed up with it now. I mean, when something like Ader or Claude Dev comes out, people don't talk about it because half of the people talking about cursor don't know how to navigate through GitHub and use something like Claude Dev or Ader. But when a company spoon feeds them the same thing for $20, they start going insane over it. Secondly, Cursor is a fork of VS Code, which is one of the best open source editors, and many people contribute to it to make it what it is. Then Cursor comes along, takes that project, attaches a price tag to it with some AI features, and starts selling it, which is not very cool. In my opinion, the project should at least be original. But anyway, today, I'll be telling you how easy it is to set up something even better than cursor in your VS Code. You can be in control of your own data, use local models, and have a bunch of customizations that you can do. Plus, you won't need to turn on a privacy mode to make sure that companies don't keep your data to train their AI models. You can also use Zed, which I have plenty of videos on. It's a really good editor as well, and it's open source. It has recently added AI features, which is kind of cool, but it can't do multi-file editing yet, which is a bit of a hassle. So, since we want that feature as well, I'll be using basic VS Code and some open source extensions to create a cursor clone. So, the editor is going to be VS Code. Apart from that, we'll need some extensions to make VS Code like cursor. So, for code auto-completion and simple code-related chat, I'll be using Continue Dev because it's one of the best co-pilot alternatives with good auto-completion, and it's open source as well. So, that's what I'll be using for auto-completion and code-related chat. Now, there's one thing that Continue can't do, and that's multi-file editing. By multi-file editing, I mean that I can just give it a prompt and it can go through all the files, create files, and just complete the application or prompt I want without the barrier of which file I have currently open and stuff like that. So, for that, I'll be using Claude Dev. Claude Dev is a very simple VS Code extension that allows you to connect it to Claude or any model via Open Router, and you can use it to generate some great applications. I have a separate video on it. Claude Dev currently doesn't work with Alama, so you can also swap this with Ader if you want. Ader is not a VS Code extension, but you can easily use it with the terminal inside your VS Code. So that's also cool. Anyway, that's what we'll be using. So let's get started. First of all, just open up VS Code. Now let's get Continue Dev installed. To do that, just go to the Extensions tab and search for Continue Dev. Now, click here and get the extension installed. Once you have installed it, you'll see it in your sidebar. Just click it and you'll see this interface. Now, just click the Model option here and click the Add option. Now, select the provider you want to use. You can also use Olama. Let me choose Anthropic here. If I select it here, You'll need to enter your API key and select the model. Once you've done that, you'll be sent back to the chat screen, and here you can now chat, put in your code files, and talk about it, which is really cool. You can also use it to generate code right inside the chat interface and put it in the file with the Insert at Cursor option, or you can also generate code right inside the file with the Command plus I shortcut which is also really good. Now, we also need autocomplete. So, for autocomplete, I'd recommend using a local model via Olama. I'll be using Quen 21.5b via Olama because that works the best for me. To do that, 
Just go to a Llama site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page and choose the model you want to use for auto completion. In my case, it's the Quen model. So, let's just click it and copy the installation command here. Now, paste it in your terminal and it will start getting installed. Once done, just send a message and see if it's working or not. Once done, just open Continue Dev, click the Settings button, and over here just scroll down. In the tab Autocomplete option, change the model name to the model you want to use. Once done, save it. Now, Autocomplete should start working, which is also really cool. So, that's how you can use it and do everything with it. But it doesn't support multi-file editing. So, Let's install ClaudeDev to do that. Just go to the Extensions tab and search for ClaudeDev and get it installed. Once installed, you'll see ClaudeDev on your sidebar. Just click it and you'll see this interface. Over here, go to the Settings, set up your API key, and you can also use OpenRouter if you want to use something other than Anthropic's model. So, just get that set up and once done, save it. Now, you can just type in whatever you want to create or change in your code, and it will do everything autonomously based on your prompt. Let's ask it to make a simple Minesweeper game using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it here, and as you can see, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. So, when it does anything, it will ask you to approve it. So, just approve the stuff, and once you do that, it will ask you to run a command to start the application it just made. You can also look at the code it has generated here, and everything will be open in VS Code as well. So, it's pretty good. Let's open it here, and as you can see, it looks pretty good, and works well too. So, I think it's really good. Now, I think you literally have everything that Cursor has, and all for free. The Claude Dev works well. You can create stuff, edit stuff, and do anything you want. You can also use Continue for simple co-pilot tasks and stuff like that. Plus, VS Code is much more customizable and easier to use. Also, many people would say that, oh, it would cost a lot more than Cursor and stuff like that. Well, for those people, I want to explain something. Claude Dev here supports prompt caching, which makes using Claude 3.5 Sonnet insanely cheaper for the tasks you want to do here, because prompt caching can easily cache your code and use that efficiently. For example, this Minesweeper game I made just now only cost about 7 cents. This generation was about 200 lines, so I don't think it would cost you anything more than $20 if you use it exclusively with Claude. By the way, Cursor doesn't even allow you to use Claude for more than 500 requests in a month. After that limit, it becomes very slow to use, which is basically a rate limit. Secondly, you can always customize the model you use. For example, even Cursor gives you a small and large model where you have a quota for each model to use. So, in the small model, you can use something like GPT-4 O-Mini or Gemini Flash, which is insanely cheaper and also gives you some rate-limited usage for free, which is really good. So, I don't think in any way Cursor is cheaper, like a bunch of people say, I mean just calculate it yourself and use it before making judgments like that. I think this configuration can be even cheaper than Cursor. And if you are not a regular programmer, then it's also really good because you won't have to pay $20 every month. You can just pay for it when you use it with API-based pricing. And you can also scale with it 
without always upgrading your plan from $20 to $40 if you don't want limits at that time. Anyway, I think this is what you should use. It works really well. You can make this insanely cheaper and even free by using something like Gemini Flash in Continue Dev. And in Claude Dev, you can use something cheaper via Open Router, which is also really cool. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.